you're watching 8-bit days a week so if I just went from playing Neo Geo games back to back to back to back this time I'm doing a lot of Capcom I guess this is Ring of Destruction and this is uh, I guess somewhat a sequel to the wrestling game Slam Masters Unfortunately, the game is, um, it, it, I guess it took, for me at least, it made a few steps backwards because it's uh, less of a wrestling game now. It's wrestling themed at least, but it's more like a a uh, traditional fighting game in that you cannot really move around you're still in a ring though Well, it's not like uh, the WWF arcade game, uh, the one by Midway, because that one is, again, more like a fighting game, but it's also like a wrestling game at the same time. Uh, you, I guess you could call this a, a fighting game, and most of the characters are focused on gra grabs. Forget it. Oh. I uh, actually did not play this ever on the arcade. I'm just on uh, emulation, I guess. I never saw this in any arcade. Arcade place back then. So I would have been disappointed since it's not like the actual wrestling game. But anyway, if you take it as a fighting game only, it's not bad. At least it's you see it's uh, unique actually. <laughs> ah. So yeah, using Stinger here like uh, I guess a luchador oh and I'm surprised they never had more I mean you barely uh, like Capcom barely acknowledges this game series uh, even after a few years after its release, I suppose it has something to do with the license to using the characters. It's 
it seems that uh, you know you see Hagar here. Hagar is uh, from the Final Fight games, and uh, Capcom acknowledges uh, Final Fight games and Street Fighter games in uh, you know one universe, but they never acknowledge Slam Masters and Street Fighter in in the same universe, which is uh, unfortunate. I, I, I hate it when uh, we lose games to obscurity because of license issues. Ah. All right, let me try again. Let's see if I could use someone else. I um, actually don't know most of them. Like I don't know their moves or something. But let's go ahead and try. Maybe I could pull something off. So these two are very similar to each other, I guess. I blew that one. I guess I'm playing this game incorrectly because I'm treating it like a, you know, like a Street Fighter game. <laughs> If I have that flash kick as well, since they're very similar to each other anyway, I guess not. At least I don't know how. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, people would think Gunlock there is kind of related to Guile. Well, I don't think they are though, since they have a flash kick in his um, that rep and punch thing. It's almost like a sonic boom there. tried guys anyway um, it's a nice game unique enough but it's just not I mean if you're looking for a wrestling an actual wrestling game this isn't it if you're looking for a different kind of a fighting game I guess this should be it so it really depends on what you're looking for Personally, I prefer the first one, the original Slam Masters. And uh, that should be it for this video. You're watching 8-bit days a week. And this is Ring of Destruction. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.